hey there guys welcome again to my channel today we're going to be turning this shabby single player game into a multiplayer game and i'm gonna do it in like a couple of minutes i don't know yet i'm gonna set my timer where is it <clears throat> okay we're gonna set it to 10 minutes hopefully we're gonna achieve it before then but anyways we're just gonna put this as a standard stuff so if you want to watch more videos like this check out the playlist link in the description um where i made flappy bird in like i don't know how many minutes <laughs> okay so yeah i'm very lazy to edit my videos so that's why i wrote to multiplayer here in the game so we'll start with what we want to do so first okay in 10 minutes okay we've started so first off i want to get rid of that multiplayer there and i want to get rid of this player yeah so i want to also um make the scripts that i need auto load i need an auto loaded script where is it auto load okay it's already here we're gonna add it again add and now we're gonna create our lobby so user interface um i'm gonna name this lobby control a and i'm gonna need two buttons which is gonna be the host and the um join button these are really cool so just select both of them go to about rect size x um let's take 40 sorry 100 okay 200 okay and y will be like 50 better so i'm gonna put this here put this here this is gonna be the host button and this is gonna be the join so like join and host that's pretty much all i need for this okay i need to add a script add a lobby script and we're going to be connecting signals from both of these guys so connect it to the lobby script um wow sorry i made a mistake um okay yeah that should be good so now when the host is pressed well, we want to create a client so we'll be like var net equals to um network multiplayer enet dot new i'm going to use high level um high level multiplayer here so next thing we want to do is net dot create server create server here it is and the ports we're going to be using for now is 42 42 because i don't know i just like it for some reason you can put any ports there that you want max number of clients we're gonna give it a 10 and last thing get underscore tree dot um network peer to be equal to net so yeah i'm done with the host this is going to create a server so now it's for the join it's literally going to be almost the same thing here is going but here is going to be create client okay and here is going to be the ip address we of our laptop which is 127.0.0.1 and here is going to be the ports which is 4242 so i think we're good now go to the ready function func underscore ready we're going to create connect some signal so we like get tree dot connect signal which is going to be the network pair connected to ourselves and sorry and the name of the signal the name of the function we're going to connect it to is success the reason why success is just like successfully connected or something like that so say on funk success sorry success um it's going to need an id and now we'll go to the auto loader script where is it auto loader script we're going to make two variables here var player ids and it's going to be an empty array the next one will be net underscore id which is just going to be not equal to anything so the player the lobby okay we'll go back to the lobby and say auto load dot um player ids the append and we're going to append the new id so if auto load auto load dot player ids dot size is greater than one that means if more than one person is connected to the server we want to start the game so say var a equals to preload i'm gonna preload the game scene which is the node 2d.tsn i'm gonna instance it the instance 
and we say a sorry get underscore tree dot root dot add child a and we want to delete our normal scene the say the lobby scene q e u e underscore free i think we should be done for there then we go to the game scene we're gonna add a script here first off we want to preload the player scene because to preload and the player scene where is it the tsn and now we want to create a function called create underscore player i think we should be good with that I want to check how many seconds we have left okay we have about four minutes left so the create player is going to have id and now we're going to create the player so we save our a equals to player the instance the instance oh shit. instance okay so see a the name is equals to string id because um this id is actually coming in number form next thing we want to do is we set the position var a sorry a dot position equals to um let's say a random um modulate 400 comma randi modulate 200 actually this is meant to be a vector 2 my bad vector 2 yeah so what else okay a dot initialize in it shall sorry this is going to be a function that we're going to make in the um player itself id okay what else i think that's all we just add the child a so next thing on the ready funk underscore ready um auto load dot net id is going to be equal to get underscore tree sorry tree dot sorry dot oh god dot network sorry the get underscore network unique id so now we want to say for i in auto load dot um player ids I mean, for all player IDs, we want to create a player with the ID given. And we also want to create a player outside that with this ID. So, Ctrl V, I think we should be good. Then for the player, I want to make a variable. Variable is underscore master. And funk underscore initialize. Sorry. On the initialize. I hope I spelled that right initialize function id sorry id i'm gonna say is underscore master is gonna be equal to id equals to equal to um auto load dot net id i think that should do it is master equals to false at first then in the process only if you're the master is underscore master then that's when you'll be able to move the player and when you move the player we want to call rpc okay so yeah i'm gonna make a remote function remote um function how many minutes do we have left oh my god one one minute and 52 seconds that's cool okay so um we're almost done we say set underscore pose pose position position equals to pose then here we're going to call an rpc unreliable um we're going to pass in the method which is the set underscore pose and position i think we should be done hopefully yeah i think that should be all and i'm done i think we achieved this in less than 10 minutes that's cool that's really cool <laughs> so um first off i'm going to try this out and see if it's working so i'm going to create um, a new godot project entirely multiplayer challenge run, run, run. oh shit. sorry we have not set the lobby okay okay i'm gonna take this down here and i'm going to run it two more times because we need three players to actually enter the game so 
now we're going to host here join here and join here oh wow <laughs> and actually i just figured out that our time is actually finished so let's spend time on irrelevant stuff like changing the color of our enemies we're going to run it again and see the results oh wow oh wow it's really nice <laughs> The reason for all those glitches is because of the positions. So I changed all the players to node 2Ds and it kind of looks better now. Let's try it again and see the results. Host, join, join. Wow. So as you can see here, it's being updated in all the scenes, um, in all the instances of the game, which is really cool and yeah that that's that's actually how to turn your shabby game into a multiplayer <laughs> yeah thanks for watching see you guys next time if you want to watch other of my um, challenge videos there yeah, the link to the playlist will be in the description below thanks for watching again know that i never forget you guys um i always love you guys and i will never stop posting videos hopefully <laughs> okay yeah thanks for watching see you guys next time smash subscribe and goodbye